Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and to my small studio space. As I mentioned in my previous videos, my sculptural artworks are going really well and the collectors are loving it. So 2021, I began with a white and gold collection. In the meantime, I was trying to complete this abstract landscape artwork. Today I am back with a bottle painting idea and this is based on few of your requests to share an easy but unique bottle painting technique. I am combining glass painting and acrylics here. To begin with, I am using this glass liner to give a basic outline. While I was starting this project, I didn't have much clear plan. But anyways, my idea was to give a peacock feather design on the bottle. So in order to get started, I gave the basic outline. Since I'm painting on a curved surface, it's much better to keep something like this, a styrofoam, a thermocol or some sort of cloth as a back support. Also, since we cannot keep any background design, don't worry even if you are not getting any perfect or straight even lines. Frankly speaking, still I don't have any clear cut idea how to complete this painting. But anyways, since I love giving circles and dots, I'm adding few circles of various sizes throughout this plain surface. At this stage, you have to make sure that each side is dried before proceeding to the another side. Or else, if you're comfortable, you can hold the bottle straight and draw the outlines at a stretch. But it's much better to complete one half of the bottle and then let it dry before proceeding to the lining of the other portion of the bottle. This is how I completed the outlining of the bottle. Now I will keep it for drying and we will start applying the paint. Now I am starting to paint from the middle portion. This is an almost dried paint from Pebio. It's a Pebio Moon from the Fantasy range and it has a beautiful pearl finish to it. So I thought of applying it to the central portion of the peacock feather which has a beautiful turquoise shade naturally. Since the paint is almost dried, I have to dab it to create a beautiful thick texture. I am proceeding with adding other outer shades which is Horizon Blue from the brand Camel. I will add all the details about the paints and the liner that I am using for this project in the description below. In order to spread the paint neatly, I prefer to use this toothpick or a skewer. I'm using this transparent lightening medium from Pebio. This will help to lighten the consistency of the paint that I'm using. This is an opaque yellow shade. For this outer portion, I am giving this transparent green from Marabu Glass Art. At this point, I have a slight idea about how to take this project. So my plan is to give transparent glass paints throughout these bubbles and a slightly opaque acrylic color or acrylic layer on the other portion. 
so i am randomly giving shades of blue purple green yellow and red in all these bubbles so while applying this paint as you can see make sure to keep on a surface and add paints in one surface or uh, one facing surface and make it dry otherwise the paint can drip like this so once you complete one side of the bottle you can proceed to another Now I have completed applying the glass paints in one side and it has dried. The next stage is to apply the acrylic paint with a sponge. For that I am combining shades of emerald green and turquoise blue. And without considering the outlines, don't worry about it, just dab the paint. And also I am not looking for any thick layer of acrylic paint, I am just dabbing. At this point, you don't have to worry about the acrylic paint covering the glass panes. Now, once uh, as soon as we apply the acrylic paint, you can take a wet Q-tip to remove the acrylic paint that has covered the transparent layer of the glass paint. You can wipe it neatly with a paper towel or a Q-tip. Since we have a proper glass liner in circle shape, for these glass panes, we, we can easily notice the borders of these circles and can remove the glass acrylic paints. You can clean the Q-tip occasionally or you can use a paper towel to clean this acrylic paint neatly. But you have to make sure to do this step as soon as you finish applying a thin layer of acrylic paint on one side. Do not wait for the paint to dry because then it will be difficult to wipe off the paint. Also the acrylic paints will get dried quickly. This is how one side of the bottle looks and I will do the same process to complete the bottle like this. It's already looking beautiful and the paint has already dried. Now comes yet another interesting portion to highlight these circles and add some details. Before that, I have few more circles left, which is not colored. So I am adding shades of red, orange to make it a bit more colorful. Once that paint is dried completely, I am taking a golden acrylic paint which is slightly diluted and taking a size 2 round brush to add the details or highlights for this beautiful design. Since we already have a basic outline done using the glass liner, now it's much easier to add the highlights. I really wanted to give highlights for these circles. So I thought of adding some swirls and making it part of the peacock feather. You can add any freehand design, there is no restrictions. Let loose your creativity, have fun at this stage adding all those tiny little details. I will follow the same method to complete the whole design.
also giving a neat border with this golden paint at this end. And to cover this top portion, I have this cotton rope. I don't know, I had bought for some other purpose. With this leftover rope, I am covering this portion using hot glue and neatly tighten it. As you can see, I have secured both the ends using hot glue. And this is how I completed the bottle and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Also, in order to give some bling, I am using the string light and will insert the whole portion, whole string and switch it on to make it a bit more beautiful. With this addition of string light, as the surrounding gets darker, the beauty of the bottle will be highlighted more. I really enjoyed doing this even though I started without any clear cut plans. I am really impressed with how this has turned out. Hope you all enjoyed watching this. If you did, please don't forget to try this on your own. Also, I hope you will like, comment and share this video with your creative friends. And if you are new here, please consider joining the small creative family by pressing that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.